All right, uh, let's start with number nine. Let's talk about snooker. We showed, uh, we showed this clip last week of uh, snooker. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a British game similar to pool, but it's different, and here's why. Pool involves a table with six pockets. You need 15 balls in a queue. All right. Snooker also uses a table with six pockets, but it's generally larger than a standard pool table. And uh, people claim snooker is harder because of the oh, yeah. size of the table. No. Oh. I if, bet. If you were wondering, the word snooker is military slang referring to someone who is inexperienced. Well, a snooker. Hey. All right, number eight, uh, who knew? But uh, pet rocks are more adorable than ever. We found this cute little kit on Amazon. It's got googly eyes, uh, and a googly eye rock kit. Uh, it comes from uh, with lots of extras, including a pet rock adoption kit, a special adoption certificate. Uh, each rock is hand selected, which is really nice. And it comes with a snuggly little blanket, a leash, and even a comfort toy. Plus, you can train it just like you train your dog to go potty on the little potty papers stop it now. and uh, this one's got a very high cuteness factor maybe uh, for someone's Easter basket but there you go those adorable yeah. all the things that you can do Wait, this sounds rock. like something you could do very easily Larry just throw some rocks in a box and yeah some googly eyes in there. oh I got yeah. a whole collection of googly eyes in my drawer <laughs> I've been afraid trying to figure out what to do with them <laughs> this is the perfect business. opportunity <laughs> <laughs> business for you you laugh but nobody idea. thought the cabbage patch kids would amount right. to yeah. anything look at yeah. that guy yeah, yeah. Well, you're right Larry All right. Mm. Good number, luck. Yeah, number seven, studies show highly successful people are voracious readers. But it's one thing to read a book and another thing to really absorb what you're reading. Northwestern management professor Brooke Vukovic says there is one little thing you can do to make your reading habits even more fulfilling and successful. After you finish reading your new book, try describing it in one sentence. Make your description catchy as if you're trying to describe it to a friend. Leave them wanting more. Mm. Is that what you do after you finish your yeah, books yeah, and you day, toss yeah. them in the trash? Oh, uh, yes. You remember a, a sentence to describe it. Yeah, and then move on. Yeah. And number six, last week we told you about uh, mock turtle soup, which was the Heinz version of turtle soup, minus the turtle. It used cap head instead. Mm. But let's talk about turtle soup made from parts of a snapping turtle. It okay. was a delicacy in Europe in the 18th century. The turtle meat was said to taste like veal or lobster. Wow. Uh, most countries around the world have banned uh, the hunting and selling of sea turtle meat for conservation and animal cruelty purposes. Mm. All right, uh, number five, Valentine's Day is coming up, and we found a great album you might like. It's uh, Music to Massage Your Mate By. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Look at that picture. Just another Friday night in the Mr. and Mrs. X house. Yeah. A clarinet, you think? Yeah, I think there's an old, might yeah, be an old elbow, elbow in there. Yeah. It's known to be a great song. Yeah. Now, Rub my feet. Now, there's not enough men wearing tank tops and cut off jean shorts anymore. No, I mean, it was really. A shortage. The, the label says explicitly illustrated instruction booklet. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Take hand, palms down. <laughs> Step two. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, number four. Fans of Hallmark movies may have noticed some changes in recent years. You'll hear things like divorce, therapy, might even make people cry, or you might even see people cry. Hallmark star Nikki Deloche was on a podcast last week. She shared a few secrets about working for the old Hallmark brass. Deloche said before the new head of the network took over in 2020, she was told she couldn't cry on camera. She was allowed to cry one single tear, but no more than that. That's enough. The folks in charge wanted their stars to look pretty, and crying wasn't pretty. That's right. But Deloche says now, under the new Hallmark regime, crying and showing emotions is encouraged. Oh, boy. They're all still walking down the same main street, though, trying to save yeah. the Christmas parade yeah. with their candle yeah. shop, and, you know, it's all the same. How about one car chase? Just one. <laughs> <laughs> right down the middle of the street. Something to zip yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, number three, uh, relationship coaches are now helping single people navigate texting. There's been a growing demand of relationship seekers who feel their written communication skills are hurting their efforts to match with someone. The coaches say there still isn't a place in our society where people can learn how to start and maintain a healthy relationship. Other coaches say while people prefer the speed of texting, fewer words in a message leaves a lot, sometimes uh, too much room uh, for misinterpretation. That is true. You read a text can mean totally different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, have you ever wondered what it looks like when models perform extreme sports to 90s alternative rock? Well, wonder no more. It takes about 40 seconds for them to tell you this is a Mountain Dew ad. It's from 1997. The song is Thank Heaven for Little Girls from a musical in the 1950s covered by Scottish band Ruby. Oh. oh that's a lot of yelling. A lot of yelling. Of yelling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number one, rejoice. Vans are cool again. They are experiencing an uptick in popularity thanks to people losing interest in SUVs. Since the start of the pandemic, owners have been buying full-size vans and uplifting them uh, to full-on exploration rigs. Hence the popular hashtag, van life. Less than a year before the pandemic began, van sales were actually plummeting compared to SUVs. In fact, vans are so cool, our own angry news writer has one. We go live to Chris Coyle and his man Goofy. <laughs> hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, how's it going, guys? Great. So Show us yeah. around. No, I was very excited. Uh, Stav told me we were going to be doing a story about vans. I'm a proud van owner. I don't know about proud. I have a beard and glasses, so it's not, <laughs> not the best thing in the world. But I wanted to show you on a, a little side business I do with the oh. van. So that's great. Yeah. Is that I make sure that everyone I'm working with is well rested, and then I also get some cash on the side. So that's a way to do yeah. it. Nice. How many people do you have in there? Uh, right now we got three. Let's see. Are you sure? That's good. Cool. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> this is awesome. It's always in the parking lot. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, that's fine. Are you charging by the hour? Uh, I charge by the minute. Uh, by the minute. Two fifty a minute. Um, Doing pretty well, actually. Yeah, that's uh, not bad. you'll make a killing here. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get a coach bus for the editors here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, the one great thing about this van is that I'm aspiring to be more like uh, Matt Foley, and I believe we have a clip. Oh, yeah. Matt Foley. Brian, from what I've heard, you're using your paper not for writing, but for rolling doobies. <laughs> you're gonna be doing a lot of doobie rolling. <laughs> yeah, I think, and that's where Chris ended yeah. up. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. All right, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thank you, you bet. That's the nine and nine. Nine.